Historic change is about to happen in our area as one man is set to leave his post as top cop, a position he's held for more than a decade. And whether you live in Clay County or not, Sheriff Rick Beasler has made headlines where you live. He has led his deputies and community through some of the most tragic and trying times in his three terms in elected office, standing before all of us with pride, passion, and hope. It's with deep regret and sadness that I have to inform you that a body has been found in the landfill in Folkestone, Georgia. The body appears to be that of a small child. The rape and murder of seven-year-old Summer Thompson captured the national spotlight. It was the hardest phone call that I've ever had to make in my life, and I hope I never have to make another one like that. The sheriff, strong but heartbroken, with his drive to find justice obvious, and years of searching and investigating leading to a conviction. Detective David White, one of his own, gunned down in a raid on a meth house. Tonight, uh, Clay County and indeed our nation has lost one of its finest sons. An officer was killed in the line of duty tonight, one of the first in almost 40 years in Clay County. Um, the officers were here doing their job. Consistently consoling his community and honoring a life lost in the line of duty while bringing justice to the family Detective White left behind. An unbelievably nice individual that we will sorely miss. Tragedy starting at a salon, leading to a manhunt and ending with three innocent lives taken in Green Cove Springs. Family, friends, strangers, distraught, standing beside them in prayer, comforting this tight-knit community. When uh, something like this happens, it really, when you know the victims and you know the people involved, it makes it a lot harder. Let's give Coy County's newest deputy a big round of applause. And while taking on crime was the sheriff's constant job. Jacob, it's my honor to welcome you as a new junior sergeant, Snowden, to our law enforcement family. Congratulations. He made sure to make a difference where it mattered most, even calling in the help of Santa himself. You can't be a good canine officer without a canine party. So allow me to introduce canine hope to you, sir. Just a few pages from a long legacy for Sheriff Rick Beasler and his impact in Clay County and beyond. At midnight January 2nd, Sheriff Beasler officially puts down the badge and Sheriff elect Daryl Daniels will take over the watch. Tonight, Joy Purdy goes beyond the uniform into the next page. This retiring sheriff will write, we meet the farm boy, the lover of trains and the family man. Well, I won't miss the phone calls in the middle of the night. Sheriff Rick um, Beasler's wife, Joan, can't help but smile, looking ahead to the new future she has with her husband of 35 years. I never really wanted him to be in politics, but I knew he'd be a good man for it. So I kind of let the state have him for a while, but now I want him all to myself. Joan has certainly been the sheriff's support behind the scenes, his number one confidant. I try to never make a decision until I sleep on it overnight. And I tell people at the office that what I really mean is that not that I sleep on it, that I get to come home and ask her about it. <laughs> but Joan is also part of the reason Beasler decided to retire instead of running for a fourth term as Clay County Sheriff. Well, four years ago, when I was thinking about running for a third term, Joan said, I'm not asking you not to run, I'm begging you not to run. Let's start having uh, fun in our lives. And I said, no, I'm gonna do one more term. And, and I did. And about two years into that term, Joan was diagnosed with breast cancer. And it made me feel about that tall that I hadn't retired when she asked me to. So it made this decision a lot easier. And she did really well. With her good health and her husband's retirement, together they can enjoy the things that bring them hope and happiness. That's the thing I love, is the wind whistling through those pine trees. I mean, that's music. And those trees are money. To me, I mean, they're like my baby. Their 50-acre tree farm in Clay County. You're pretty good at driving this. Oh, thank you. And while Joan will no longer have to compete with those late-night phone calls and other daily demands of the sheriff's office, she knows there's one thing that will distract Beasler's attention from her. His fascination with trains. This is Beasler's bright purple and yellow rail car, which he's driven all over the country. 
I keep this motor car in tip-top shape because you don't want to be 30 miles down a rail line and have it break down. Beasler's grandfather worked for the Atlantic Coastline Railroad, colored purple and yellow, fueling the sheriff's love of trains. Today, the sheriff is part of the North American Rail Car Operators Association and has at least one big trip on his bucket list, the Trans-Canadian Railway without Joan. No, the first five minutes are fun. And then the rest of it is, like, not, not fun. While that trip will be a solo one for Beesler, the soulmates, along with their newly adopted pup, Zipper, have many trips to look forward to after they purchase their first motorhome. When I was a young guy, I always used to laugh at old people that had a little dog in a motorhome. And I said, you know, here we are now, buying a motorhome, we got a little dog. I says, I've become the people that I used to laugh about. While Sheriff Beasler's looking forward to his new life, he says it won't be easy making the transition. I will be honest with you. Ever since I was 19 years old, I've gotten up every morning and put on a badge and a gun and gone to work. And, you know, it's going to be tough, you know, on January the 3rd to get up and not have to do that. Uh, but on the other side, it's going to be fun, too. But at the same time, he's proud of the sheriff he became and the legacy he leaves behind. A sheriff's office is the epitome of power, and you don't want to abuse it, and you want to let people know that you're honest and that you are holding that office in public trust uh, for them. And I think that's the greatest accomplishment, is knowing that the public trusts us and that we've restored their faith in this uh, agency and, and leaving it in a, in, a good, in a good place. That's why it's time to go out when you're on top. And Sheriff Beasler going out for a higher calling, if you will, because together, Sheriff Beasler and his wife Joan have three children, yeah. four grandchildren, two of his children currently working in law enforcement. Now, Sheriff Beasler's own career protecting and serving began well before he was first elected as Clay County Sheriff in 2004. Right now on NewsProjects.com, you'll find a slideshow taking you through his career in Northeast Florida that began in 1973 with the Green Cove Springs Police Department. You'll also find newspaper articles, photos, and our full interview with the sheriff and his wife. Just look for this story on the homepage, newsforjax.com.